Hey there friends, it's time for my favorite game, Project Zomboid. If you've never played this game, oh my god, it is amazing. This game is a zombie open world survival with permadeath, and today I'm gonna make myself gather up all my strengths and weaknesses, assign them to this character, and try to behave the way I would in a zombie apocalypse. Goal is to get all the necessities to survive and a decent base set up. There is blood, sweat, and tears involved. But enough about my medical situation, let's create our character. We gotta pick a job, and I think the closest to a YouTuber is unemployed. Meaning I get no bonuses. I guess that looks kinda like me, except my pants aren't that tight. Probably not a good idea for him to have kids anyway, given the situation. I then realized I load into the game not only without a job, but without any skills whatsoever. And while I do think that represents me pretty well, I thought it best to try it again. I also thought that Kevin V1 deserved more than an off-screen death. So yeah, that happened. Consider this a therapy session, because I'm trying to be as honest as possible about my personality. I think I'm handy, I'm in good shape, I'm a fast learner, a light eater, and dexterous. Now, on to the bad things. I am a Sunday driver. I am never in a rush, ever. So I'm sorry for those of you behind me. I'm a slow reader, I cannot pay attention to books. A weak stomach, I'm always weak. I'm hard of hearing, because I refuse to go to the ear doctor, even though my ear is blocked. I can be a little agoraphobic, so I put that in there. I am disorganized, and I I am one thirsty boy, and please don't take that out of context. In this multiverse, I wear diapers. The basics, please call me Kevin, is no basic bitch. Why am I in a bathroom? Like, I have diapers on, I may as well use the things. Do I live in a cabin? This is awesome. Oh, I have friend. <laughs> this is unrealistic. Come in, come in, don't be cold out there. Oh, stomp. That's why I don't have friends. Now I close the window, and I dress up as them, so their family will think I am them, and then I have family. Family. Also in this universe, I haven't realized there's a zombie apocalypse yet. Also, I realize the footage is a tiny little bit jumpy, but I fixed that pretty soon. So, anything on television? <laughs> I wouldn't really know what to do. I'd probably try and check in on the news, right? Anything like, uh, noteworthy here? Bladder control. Actually, that is pretty relevant. In leave. Okay, whenever I am looting a pharmacy, I need to look for that. Wait, product may cause swelling of the urinary tract. Hold on, doc. Oh my god. The neighbors are having a party. I need to avoid that at all costs. Oh no, I'm getting panicked because I'm outside. <laughs> to be fair, who wouldn't be panicked in this situation? It's a zombie apocalypse and it's outside. Aha, a weapon. At least I hope I can use this as a weapon. I'm just a crazy guy in a diner with a shovel. <laughs> I might just be having an episode. The employees are trying to stop me and I'm like, get away zombies. But I must say, if I am having an episode, it should at least be sponsored. That's right, this video is brought to you by Dragonair. All right, well, that was all the budget we had. Um, I hope it was worth it. I figured best to load it up in front to get you hooked, like impress you, and then you might... Oh. Oh, we have more. We have more. We have more. Dragonair is an open world team RPG brought to you from the publisher of Marvel Snap. The game focuses on a strong Western fantasy theme and incorporates true RPG elements from tabletop classics like D&D. You got dungeon duels, you got character creation, you got dice rolls. It's all here. It's out now globally on Windows, Mac, Epic Game Store, iOS, and Android. You can embark on your own quest to regain lost memories of powers while uncovering the secrets of Edentia, alongside companions to keep you company in the game so you don't have to rely on your cutout of Brendan Fraser. Not, not that I have one, it's just, you know, hypothetically, like just in general. You can call me whatever you want. Not that I don't have one either. Features an extensive roster of nearly 200 heroes, spanning 8 unique combat traits, 6 elemental types, 9 moral alignments, 20 kinfolk, and 21 classes to suit your own individual playstyle. And while none of that includes Brendan Fraser, that's a lot of variety, so I think we can learn to get by. Thank you, Dragonair, so much for the sponsor. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in playing, check out the link in the description or scan my QR code on screen. Brendan, anything else to say? It was a lot, yeah, it was a lot of fighting, a lot of fall down, go boom. Awesome. Enjoy the rest of the video. And if I were in a zombie apocalypse, I would take all the bread before it's too late. I also feel like I take the money, even though I kind of know it's probably worthless. Mmm, 
burger, eat all. <laughs> I think I'm in like a fast food restaurant. Mmm, <laughs> pizza. This is all just going really well and accurate so far. Apart from the diaper thing, that, that's actually a joke. I should really be more careful. <laughs> I didn't really even think about that. I just ran into the kitchen blindly and got ready to smack. I haven't played this game in a while. Do you have to like get a job? Can I work here? No, okay, I'm not that rusty. So far, so good on the food. That's all stuff I would eat. Why do I have to be such a picky eater? None of this is suitable. Coffee makes you unhappy for some reason. That explains a lot. I don't have issues to work out. It's just the coffee talking. I think because I'm so disorganized, my inventory is already full. To be fair to the guy, he has a lot of food in those trunks. Why did I even come in here? This is unnecessary. I just want to speak to the head chef, all right? You don't have any food I like. Oh, nice, a watch. This is actually very helpful. <gasps> no way, a bow tie! Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Bow ties are cool. Hey, you guys zombies? Oh, no. <laughs> I was really hoping you were just pale and sickly looking like me. That's where I did me a solid, actually. This guy is way more tan than me. But he also can't control his bowels, so you win some, you lose some. Don't know why I'm trying to break into my own house. I'm just trying to avoid the neighbors, I guess. I'm trying to sneak back in here. I don't know if I even want to live here. It's a little small, and now that the apocalypse is here, I guess I have a lot of options, right? That's one good thing. The property market must be a buyer's market right now. And by that, I mean I'm just going to break in and live somewhere. I also didn't get the one thing I wanted, which was sheets. But I don't give a sheet. I can get those later. I got lots of food. Look at all this. And I got enough coffee to make me full on depressed. The hell? Jesus Christ, some privacy, please. Oh, Jesus, they broke in the way. Okay, now, ah, my legs, my legs. Oh my God, my everything, run. Okay, well, now I'm stuck in the bathroom. This just got worse and I'm bleeding. God, oh God, oh God, I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. I'm ripping my shirt off and not just to show you my guns and the fact that I'm a Ken doll. Bandage, 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 come on, come on. Okay, I didn't get a good look at them, but they're either zombies or overly aggressive neighbors. And either way, I don't want to be in this situation. Okay, push, push, just get, yeah, now I'm standing on one and smash. I can imagine someone seeing through this little window, this whole thing going down. Smash, smash, smash. Honey. He's on me. He's at it again. Nice. Just gained a skill. And mom said television was useless. Granted, the skill is fishing and I have no interest in fishing in this playthrough. Uh, there's someone in my house. <laughs> I don't think my house is my house anymore. I think this is our house. Or it could be our house. In the middle of the street, our house. Uh, I don't really know what to do here. Where is my shovel, by the way? Ah, uh, there is my shovel. Oh, sweet Jesus, there's so many of them. Uh-oh, oh, this is, this is terrible. I think that one just got a chunk out of me and she's coming back for more. I taste amazing. I'm out of here. All my food is still in the fridge and I'm thirsty. Mmm, yummy toilet water. I feel much better now. I am really liking my outfit, but I should get some protection. <laughs> Not in case he gets like a hot date or anything. I'm just saying, you know, he's a little bit exposed. Said I didn't want a hot date. Go away. You get the shovel. Oh, damn it, let me live my life. No, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm over the fence. Oh, no. I'm over the fence. No, no, I'm over another fence. I, maybe I can take them. There's not that many. Hmm. There do be many. <laughs> I should run away. Mm, they're conging their way toward me, but I'm taking them out one by one. Just for the record, this is something I could not do in real life. You get the shovel, and you get the shovel, and you get the shovel. And you don't get the shovel. No, you get the shovel. Long blonde leveled up. Red frilly underpants. Fantastic. Not because I've overcome my bowel issues, just that I don't think it really matters anymore. Excellent. This will protect me. <laughs> Reasonable van. Do you have a key? Eh, not so reasonable, after all. The only thing useful is an eraser, and the mistakes I'm making can't be erased. Oh, sweet but Jesus, look at the amount of them. I'm gonna go back to the corpse pile and see if there are other cars available. Okay, we got a few options here. We, we can still hope. There's a chance. Go away, I saw them first. I think I would want to get out of the city if this were me, you know? That's why I'm so keen on getting a car. I feel like it would be a good move. You don't want to be in a city this dense. Being someone this dense, anyway. Is that? Oh my god. Oh no, I thought it was a biscuit. Oh, but it's a car key. That'll do too. A hunting knife. Nice. Now no one can hunt me with that knife. Alcohol wipes. I'll definitely need those. A bandage. Definitely need that. A mirror. No thank you. Don't want that. <laughs> I'd be some bad state in an apocalypse. <laughs> 
Ha, huh, no fuel. Okay, well, that's only a slight issue. That's okay. All I gotta do is get, like, a, a bottle and some, some fuel, and, and then I, I'll be good, right? I, I hope I'm near a gas station. Actually, I bet one of these cars has something. What if I can get a container from one of the cars and then fill it up using fuel from any of these cars? Oh, ho, 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 delightfully devilish, Kevin. You found another vehicle key, and it's a much better vehicle for a zombie apocalypse. Container and fuel. Container and fuel. Huh. Some reason just keep on repeating something. It doesn't mean it'll happen. I have ADHD, so I'm just gonna read some magazines. I feel like I get distracted at some point. And corpse pile is looking pretty good. Very safe in this area. Damn it, stop locking your cars. I want to get in and get containers. Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing it. Maintenance plus one, everyone. Oh no, I picked up broken glass. No, I don't want that. Put in container, corpse. Yeah, I'm just gonna put all this glass on you. So it looks like you broke the window. Hey buddy, this is your van? Don't worry, I got her. I'm the police. I think I look like more of a male stripper than the police. Oh no, my shovel. Ah, well, I can dig my own grave without it. I'm saying that because I seem to really be committing to this idea, and I don't know if it's a good one. I've got the hunting knife, but I was never very good with short weapons in this game. Either way, I'm gonna try and get inside the building and hopefully find a container. High visibility vest, that's something I'd wear in a zombie apocalypse, I feel. Oh, a taxi key! I have a choice of vehicles! I've spotted an ambulance here, and I figure it's a good idea to check it out. Hopefully not get caught. Oh god, okay. <laughs> that didn't last long. I would wear the medical mask. I feel like that's fair right now. Not gonna lie, my guy's getting pretty worn out and my dream of becoming a van life YouTuber is looking less and less likely. Oh, she vitamins, no way. Got me vitamins, <laughs> eat them all at once. That makes them stronger. All right, I found this little warehouse that we're gonna take a look inside. Water, water. Oh, that's much better. Actually even tastes nicer from the sink rather than the toilet. That's wild. Some sort of apartment building. I've got to find a container in here somewhere, right? Maybe not in here. Oh wait, I found the light. Okay. A bucket! Can I use that? Surely I can use that. It would be ridiculous if I couldn't use that. I can't believe you can't use it to pick up fuel. This is ridiculous. I'm so upset right now. Aha! Orange soda. I can use this. Drink all of it. We can't be wasteful in the apocalypse. Gas tank. Gasoline five. Okay, that's something. It's certainly better than nothing. So let's siphon that gasoline. And then we add it to the van. I think this is the vehicle I want to go with. Yeah, look at that. It's in great condition. Okay, let's get this bad boy out of here. And by that I mean me. I just gotta figure out where I am and then hopefully get some gasoline. I'm also a Sunday driver, remember? So don't judge me. This is just how I prefer to drive. Okay, this, this is a bit worse than Sunday driver. What's going on here? <laughs> this is actually a little bit terrifying. Okay, note to self, never ever go on the grass again. Look at the amount of zombies that chased me. Oh, there's the gas station. Well, that was handy. <laughs> that didn't take very long. I'm gonna try and hoard them away. I'm just beeping my horn and hoping I can draw them all away. Okay, now I've drawn them away. I just need to figure out how to loop back on myself. Didn't I say something about not going on grass earlier, but oh well. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be fine. You know, I'm starting to think maybe I won't be fine. Oh Jesus, this isn't good at all. Why have I done this? I'll just hop over here and be safe for a minute. <laughs> Leave them get tired of my van. At least I drew them away, right? Maybe I can get some better weapons and equipment in here. I, I bet it'll all work out for the best. Look, hammers, exactly what we wanted. I can dual wield them. Oh, a pickaxe. Okay, and dropping the sarcasm. This is actually good. Safety goggles. I mean, they can't be a bad idea in a zombie apocalypse. Empty gas can. That's exactly what I need. Ah, and I found a map. Great. I have an idea of where I am at least now. Grabbing a lot of tools in here as well. I think they'll come in handy. I would love this little generator, but I don't think I'm going to be able to carry it unless I can bring the van in here maybe. Now that I'm kind of looking around, maybe I could live here? <laughs> like it's... It's not great, but it's not awful. Oh no, actually, there's someone living here already. Yeah, it doesn't really have, like, utilities or appliances. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. They're just surrounding my van, aren't they? What the hell? Why do they love my van so much? You know what? I don't need my van anymore. <laughs> I've changed my mind. They can have it. Because with my newfound knowledge of the gas station, I can just fill up the gas can and get another vehicle. But it might be good to try and set up in a temporary base or something, because my mood isn't doing too good. I'm gonna just hope I get lucky on one of these houses and it's nice and empty for me. So far so good. <laughs> 
Come on, come on, come on, let me in. I really need to get into somewhere here. Come on, yes! I can hear zombies around me. So first things first, close all of the curtains. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to cook myself a mutton chop. I usually don't cook, I usually just start house fires. But let's see how this goes. Oh, there's lots of food here. This might not be a bad spot, actually. Okay, now just take it out of the oven and eat it in your bloody hands. There, lovely and full. Oh no, I just tossed two zombies go around the front and I'm hearing them at the window. There you go. <laughs> Messy, messy, messy. Oh, camo, yes. I look like an absolute lunatic. Oh no, I'm applying my makeup, but I can hear an alarm going off in the distance. Probably best to just lay low here for a while. I guess if I could get some gas and maybe head to this area. This is like on the edge of society where I could go in for scavenging and stuff. Might not be a bad idea, but we'll have to get gas in a vehicle first. I just drank in the house, but he's already thirsty, so I'm going back inside. Leading them away along with that alarm seemed to have worked wonders. Whoa. Okay, there's a lot here. Oh, jelly beans. That'll make me happy. Oh god, someone here. I didn't hear them because I'm hard of hearing. <laughs> I forgot about that. I only saw the door shaking a bit. Okay. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Mmm, <laughs> cake. I'm gonna be so full. He's panicked, but he's eating. He's panic eating right now. And a lot at that. Oh my god, the amount of food. I just have to get it refrigerated somehow. I need to get a van. Oh, I wish I didn't lose my van. But this is the mother load of food. The problem is it's just gonna go off so fast unless I can get it out of here. Are these refrigerated? These are refrigerated. Maybe I could refrigerate all the food in here. I might just live in the gas station, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm convinced I'm gonna live in the gas station now. Let's get this corpse out of here. I hope I don't break my back doing it. I'm putting it in the garbage? <laughs> How respectful. I think it's clear. I'm gonna try and fill up this gas tank. Like, if I can get some sort of wall built just by the door so they can't come in and there's a little bit of security, this might be an okay place. Oh, God, this is not an okay place. Where do I keep the gasoline? Where do I keep the gasoline? It can go in the fridge. This can be, like, the maintenance place place. There you go, next to the orange soda. Would have made a lot more sense to put it in the garbage, wouldn't it? <laughs> but then where would I keep the corpses? Oh no, there's another one. Oh Jesus, I even knew it was there, but it still jump scared me. Okay, well that was easy, but you did dirty up my floor. I'm gonna run out of space for all these corpses. So this can be my storage room. All the maintenance stuff can go in here as well as the medical stuff. As well as my disposable camera, just in case I need it. Who knows what memories I might want to preserve. Got a lot of canned food, but no can opener. That's a slight problem. Oh Jesus, someone snuck in. But oh well, that's perfect timing, because now I can show you what I've done. As you can see, the displays are pretty empty because I have gathered everything and put it in here. This is like fresh food and snacks. I got lots of cake there. This is yucky fruit and veg. This is just the meat fridge. I can safely say I have never had this much food in this game. I got these big two industrial ovens as well as shelves and shelves of goodies. Look, I even have video game. I'm gonna eat an entire tub of peanut butter just because I can. I have this luxury now. And milk. Gonna have strong bones. I think it might be a good idea to lock up this area though. Like if I can barricade both these doors and just live in the storeroom, I'd probably be safer. I'm gonna have to collect some planks somewhere or else cut down some trees. I'm also gonna need some medical supplies, maybe a couple of weapons and random necessities such as a backpack. I'm thinking of maybe trying to go this way and hoping if I can get varied loot here. I think I'll also take my gas can just in case I run into a car that's stealable. Oh wait, yeah, I don't keep them with the corpses anymore. I have it in my storage room. In fact, I might just take my little bottle. That should be enough to get me back. I'm not gonna go too far on foot, surely. He says, kind of doubting what he's saying. There we go. I'll full up and it'll be less weight on my character now. This area is like surprisingly empty. Oh, wait, they're all in the bar, that's why. It must be a Friday night. Don't really fancy going into any of these big buildings. But I do fancy this fire truck pretty badly. Oh, I think they all want me even more, though. Oh, another gas station. I wonder if an idiot lives in this one, too. <laughs> I don't like having hard of hearing. They sneak up on me. I'm struggling enough without them sneaking up on me. Oh, a key on the ground. Let's see. Actually, pretty damn good. All right, we've found our... 
the hell was that? Okay, there was some bang in a dark alley at night, but let's ignore that. All right, we're rolling on out, and this time I'm definitely not going on grass. I've learned my lesson the hard way, as I do with all of my lessons. I think the idea of a Sunday driver is you just never take this bad boy out of first gear. <laughs> it's just stuck there. Ah, there we go. I had my headlights off. This will help a lot. Oh, no, don't go on the grass. Okay, I'm home. I'm also on grass, but I'm home. There are a few zombies to take care of, but I'm sure that's no big deal. If I just, like, jump on groups of them, I should be fine. I've got my pickaxe. So my plan of attack is pick and then axe in that order. I just bumped into one. That was so awkward. Oh, that's so me. I'm slowly whittling them away. <laughs> but it's not <laughs> it's a speedy process. It's also a very dangerous process. Okay, are we done here? I think we're done here. <laughs> no, we're not done here. There's one just chilling, complaining about the gas prices, which unfortunately for you is your life. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm safe now. Now all I need to do is fill up the car. <laughs> I think a stop at a hardware store would be a good call. Maybe get some better clothing. I love my guy's fashion, but it's kind of falling to shreds. All right, let me get a drink of water and I've got the perfect store we can head to. You'd think I was talking about a pharmacy or a hospital to get meds, but no, I'm actually thinking about this cool military clothing store and I'll look really cool and nice. Accessorizing is good in the apocalypse. Like, look at those zombies accessorizing with their hats and jewelry. You don't want to stick out, do you? I'm going to so much effort for this car and it really feels like I'd nearly be faster walking. I did notice that this zombie right here had a backpack, which I really like. And if I would really like it, that means I must have it. I am the main character. Oh, no, wait, hold on. I, I don't actually have plot armor. Wait, get back. No, hold on, hold on. Okay, all right. This may have been a bad idea. Certainly not my worst idea. That was the grass thing. Oh, boy. So, well, uh, this has happened. I have quite the horde. I might try and run through a house and run around. Here we go. All right, good luck breaking through there. The back door is already broken through. That's a bit worrying. And then I think I'll just go through the next house, have a little drink of water, because this guy's always thirsty and run straight out the front door. Ha ha. I might even be able to grab that backpack in time. School bag. Yeah, <laughs> that'll make me look normal. <laughs> and into the car we go. Nice. At least now I have some more storage. Wow. That's an aggressive takeoff. No hurry. It's just the apocalypse. That's all. There's a food market. That's one thing I don't need, but that's a good sign. We must be getting close to a commercial zone. Oh, I really want the police car. <laughs> I really want any flashy car, don't I? I can never just be happy with what I have. At the end of the day, I'm going to be driving at like five kilometers per hour. It doesn't matter. Okay, I think it's around here somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where. Oh, Fun Extreme looks tempting, though. <laughs> There's a hardware shop. That'll help me. Let's try and sneak in here. Very stealthy-like. Another person trying to sneak in. Get out of my way. It was my idea first. He actually looked remarkably like me. Okay, heard a big smash and I'm hard of hearing, so I don't want to be in here. <laughs> Can I just break this thing? I feel like I'm wasting my pickaxe, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It was fine. Honestly, a broom would be great. I need to clean up my, uh, my storage room. <laughs> There's a lot of blood in there. Aha, this is the place I wanted. Another hammer, another screwdriver, another saw. I'll take all of those. Oh, a welder mask. That'll make me look interesting. Yeah, now I look like a scavenger. Like, you might think twice about messing with me. But then you'd see the school <laughs> child's backpack and the hive's jacket and you'd probably just kill me. Okay, I found some better clothes at least. I got a fishing rod. Renewable food. Here we come. Not that I need food anytime soon. How many zombies have I killed so far as this character? 100, a nice even 100. Oh my god, there's a zombie in here. Oh, oh, I want to make it 101. I don't want to settle on this number. I was just in here. How did it get in there? So at the moment, I'm cowering on this stairwell, and I think I need to try and go up this way. We got a little bit of distance to cover, but up here we've got this military store where I can get a lot of equipment. Phew. Like four zombies were on their way to me, but then they realized that door looks much tastier. Oh, I should have said nothing. Don't know how my maintenance went up, but oh well. I don't know what building that is, but I'm tempted to just let them burst through the door for me. <laughs> I'm just outsourcing the donkey work, you know? Aha, they did it. But now I just have to kill all the zombies. Oh my god, what were you up to before Oof. the apocalypse hit? Well, I'm taking your boots anyway. And although your balaclava brought out your eyes, I don't think it would do much for me, so I'll just stick to the welder's mask. Ooh. Big bag, come here. I had five maps of Louisville here. Bit unnecessary. But you know what is necessary? All this candy. 
Oh, Jesus. Just waiting there to jump scare me. Is that your whole purpose in life? If so, congratulations. I wish I could accomplish mine like that. Maybe I'm aiming too high. I should just jump out on people at alleys. That's gotta be fulfilling too. God, there's a lot of zombies in here. But I think it's safer in here than it is out in the street. So I'm just gonna use this as a little shortcut. What is this? Am I in a cinema or something? Someone really wants to see Barbie. It's me, by the way, not this zombie. He's queuing for the new Fast and the Furious. Parkour! I just fell over a chair. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad no one else was in the theater yet to see that. And I'm so glad I didn't just get bitten there because that was close. <laughs> I feel like that will be my demise. It'll be something stupid where I just don't pay attention. And I feel like that's how it would go in real life as well. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh, sweet Jesus. You see, <laughs> this is what I meant. I went into a bar, <laughs> but I wouldn't be me if I wasn't exploring the bar. Like, I just wanted some bourbon. So there you have it, folks. If I was in a zombie apocalypse, I would survive for two days and three hours. Damn it, just when things were getting good. The annoying thing is, I was in this room a while ago, and there was no one in there. They just burst through this door. So there you have it. There's my happy ending. Well, I mean, it kind of is a happy ending. I mean, I work in a bar. That's pretty cool in the apocalypse. But that is the beauty of this game, and it's why the stakes are so high. You could die at any time to anything. You might just stand on some glass and bleed out. It's something that I've noticed more and more draws me into a game, where the consequences are a little bit higher. It just makes you a little bit more on edge, a little more invested on what you're doing. Unless you kind of tune out and then just run into the back room and get eaten by zombies. All I know is, if I were in a zombie apocalypse show, or movie, I wouldn't be the main character, I'd be an NPC that the main character might see along the way. And with that question answered, that is today's video over. Thank you so much for watching, bye for now.